to anyone questioning the quality of the engineering and craftsmanship. I would point out that Timco was chosen by none other than BMW to provide the range extenders for its hybrid drive i3, and it also entered a partnership with Kawasaki back in 13 to produce the J300 scooter. In short, this isn't the stereotypical knockoff brand, but a company that strives to produce a quality product, and lots of it too with something over half million units per year rolling off its assembly line. I am usually loath to label something a girl's bike, or a petite rider's scoop, but there's no getting around it with the company. This here is a pocket scooter, folks. Comparable to some of the smallest, road legal, 50cc scooters out there today. We're looking at a mere 47 inch wheelbase with a 29 inch seat height. Even with just the rider and no passenger, only the shorter riders are going to have enough legroom to be completely comfortable, but the bench seat does allow you to scooch your butt back a little to get all the legs stretched you can. Naturally, it doesn't have much heft either with a dry weight just a skosh under 200 pounds, which means one really motivated man can pick the thing up and walk off with it. What the heck, small people go on a ride too, after all, am I right?